Hi everyone, this is Randon, one of Advisor's CFPs and coaches. This video is part of a series of videos designed to answer some of our users' most frequently asked questions. In this video, we're going to discuss the underlying assumptions in our software. To access the assumptions, hold your mouse over the three lines toward the top right of your screen, click Settings, and then Assumptions. The inflation rate is the rate at which expenses will increase. Income growth rate is the rate at which income, such as employment, will increase. Social security inflation is the rate at which social security will increase. Tuition inflation is the rate at which we inflate education expenses. Loan balance interest rate is the rate at which, if your client goes into debt, the debt will increase, however you can specify the interest rate on each debt when you input the data. The best practice is to input the interest rate for each account. Turnover ratio is the percentage, based on the account value, of a taxable investment account that is taxed each year, however you can set this for each account when you input the account information. The best practice is to input this information for each account. Male and female life expectancies are the ages through which we measure if a plan is funded or not. If the clients have money through their life expectancies, the plan is considered funded. For Monte Carlo simulations, you can run up to 1,000. The default is 250. Potential revenue rate affects your dashboard. We multiply the potential revenue rate by the amount of held away assets to determine potential AUM fees on your dashboard. There are two choices for excess cash flow, spend and save. If you are in spend mode and the program calculates income in excess of expenses, also known as disposable income, we'll assume that money is spent. It will not be captured in the client's plan going forward. If you are in save mode, we'll save the surplus and you'll see a contribution to an account on the balance sheet in the amount of the positive net cash flow the following year. That money remains in the plan and therefore save is a less conservative method than spend. There are also two options for portfolio returns. Hypothetical mode requires you to specify a straight line rate of return for each account. If you go to your accounts list via profile accounts and click on any accounts pie chart icon, you, you will see a field toward the top of the window that opens to input a straight line hypothetical return. Make sure the field is filled out for each account and you agree with the value. If you leave this field blank, the account will show a return of 2.0%. We'll now switch to weighted average mode. Weighted average mode uses the asset allocation of the account and JP Morgan's 10-year forward-looking capital market assumptions to compute a return on the account calculated by the account balance times the percent of the account in each asset class times the rate of return for that asset class. The return assumptions for each asset class can be found in our resource center at help.advisor.com. If you are using weighted average mode, make sure that the asset allocation of the account is filled out correctly. If the asset allocation is not filled out, the account will return 2.0%. And you'll notice that in comparison to hypothetical mode, there is no longer a box to input a straight line rate of return. And that is because we are now in the weighted average mode of calculating portfolio returns.